We are getting into the Christmas season, so to start it off, I'm going to be showing you how to play Christmas Island by Lyle Moraine on the ukulele. So here are all the chords you're going to need for the entire song, but before I show you those, I just want to let you know that my ukulele is in D6 tuning, or Canadian tuning, so it has an A string, a D string, an F sharp string, and a B string. Alright, so with that being said, let's get started into the chords. So, the first chord that we're going to need is G over D. And I know that sounds kind of fancy, but it's literally just the D chord and the D chord. So, we're going to start with our G chord, which is our first finger on the first fret of the third string, and then our second finger on the second fret of the first string. There's our G. And then, because our D chord is our third finger on the third fret of the last string, we're just going to keep our D on and add our G. And that's our G over D. Okay, and then from that, you already know D, which is just take your fingers off. It's the third finger on the third fret of the last string. There's D. Then you're also going to need to know B7, which is another one finger chord. You're going to put your first finger on the first fret of the second string down. B7. You're also going to need to know E7, which is a bar chord. So this one's a little trickier, but with enough practice, you'll be super great at it. So you're going to take your second finger and you're going to flatten it on all four strings of the ukulele on the second fret. So it looks like that. And then you're going to take your third finger and put it on the third fret of the bottom string. Like that. Okay? And then you're also going to need to know A7. Lots of sevens in this song. Um, so you're going to take your first finger, put it on the first fret of the third string your second finger on the second fret of the second string, and your third finger on the second fret of the last string down. Um, and that's A7. Okay? And then your last seven chord that you're going to need to know is D7, which is one finger, first fret of the last string. D7. And then finally, last chord I promise, um, which is G, which is, you already know, like this. Alrighty, let's look at the strumming pattern, because it's the same throughout the entire song, okay? So I'm just going to practice on D, um, and this strumming pattern is a combination of using your thumb and your pointer finger, okay? So it starts like this. You're going to use your thumb to play the top string of your ukulele, the A string, just like that, okay? And then you're going to use your pointer finger to play down up. Okay? Together, it'll sound like this. Finger, down, up, finger, down, up, finger, down, up, finger, down, up, okay? And then, once you practice that a little bit and get faster, you can add a bit of a swing to it, like this. Let's look at all the verses now and how they start, because it's, it's different than what you may think. Um, so, we'll take the first verse, for instance, how would you like to spend Christmas on Christmas Island? Okay, and this goes for all of the verses, is that you're not going to play until Christmas. Okay, so this um, particular verse starts on G over D, and it's how would you like to spend Christ bus, and then you change chords into the next one. Okay, and because it's kind of like a quick little chord, you don't really have time to play your top string with your thumb, so you're just going to do the down up. So how would you like to spend Christ down up? Mus. And then when you go into the mus, you switch to the next chord and just play the regular strum like we learned before. Now there's also a special note um, for the end of all the verses, okay? Because when you start the next verse, you're not playing ukulele, so there has to be a stop at the end. So let's take the first verse again, for example. And the last word is C, and it ends on D. So what we're going to do, and this goes for all of the verses, is you're going to play your last chord twice. You're going to go through the string pattern twice. And then you're just going to do one final down strum, and then you start the next one. How would you like to spend Christmas? And then you just start again like how you would. So for the rest of the song, you really just play a strumming pattern that goes along with the chords. So um, all of the chords are listed in the description box below and then are also going to be shown in the sing-along that comes next. Um, and another thing is that this song is like fantastic for ukulele. And so really feel free to make it your own, jazz it up, swing it up, whatever is your jam, go with it. Here we go. How'd you like to spend Christmas? i 
Spend Christmas.